name is Joe Cameron and uh, this so far this is my haul for my car computer and uh, center console so the first things first is we have the surface book uh, 2 it's a large tablet there are a couple of challenges with this uh, tablet um, insofar as it only has a surface lock at the bottom so I don't have any uh, USBs on the tablet itself so I'd have to use the surface dock which is like a hundred dollars um, this is what it looks like proprietary docks so this is the tablet it's very large it's uh, I believe 15 inches it's almost uh, 4k so it's like 3,000 by 2,000 it's gonna be a perfect size for what I'm looking to, to use it for in the car the shift lever might get in the way however so that's something I'm being wary of this is the drive so this is how we're gonna track performance changes over time it's so tiny micro USB which is pretty trash nowadays Comes with a USB cable. These look like a mounting tabs. Oh, wow. Okay, those are strong magnets. Okay, so this is how you mount it to your dash. Okay, awesome. And this is the OBD2 reader. All right, so OBD2 to USB. Comes with a manual. All right, there is some instructions on how to get a specific driver. I might have to take a look at that shortly. Get this set up. And then this is the GPS receiver. All right, so let's hope this works with Bing Maps. Otherwise, this whole plan is uh, has been a waste of time with the Surface Book. Okay, all right, so it's just USB here for the drivers. Ooh, it comes with a suction cup for or Windows, or Windows might already have a driver for it, so that might make it easy for us. All right, so unfortunately I bought two of these on accident, so if anything, I'll give somebody as a gift uh, an inverter so they can charge their laptop in the car or whatever. Okay. <clears throat> Huge aluminum shroud. So the idea is this inverter, so it takes 15 to, to uh, 11 to 15 volts DC, 28 amps, Turns it into, you know, 110, 60 hertz, 2, uh, 2.6 amps. USBs are, I don't know if it's cumulative or it's like almost five, uh, five amps, almost 25 watts, but it might be per. Nah, it's, yeah, it's, it's cumulative. So each one of them is about uh, 12 watts, pretty beefy. And then this is the access point for the car so I can connect my cell phone to it. So the idea is uh, cell phone goes into this, which goes into this. Oh, it's so tiny. Micro USB does have a USB slot for 3G, 4G. It's the mode here, which for different types of uh, wireless networking. All right, that's awesome. So that's gonna get connected to, the, uh, to that as well. So and this big board. All right here is an it's an APC UPS. All right. So the idea is this is what's gonna keep the uh, tablet topped up while the car is off, and uh, it has a software called Parachute, which can just send the tablet into hibernate once it uh, it uh, detects that there's no power coming from the inverter. So that might be a useful way to keep the battery um, always full. Jump in the car can just press it and it will get away from hibernate. Alright, so this one I'm really proud of because it took me a long time to find it. This one is kind of cool. Uh, USB A to micro USB, you know, to now, GMI, and then this one I'm, I'm really proud of it. It's just so cool. This is a 1920 by 400 HDMI display, and this is what I'm going to be using for my uh, instrument cluster. I'm going to be writing the instrument cluster in, um, in Electron, grabbing information from the OBD2, like vehicle speed and things of that nature, and then displaying it up here. So I'm, I'm actually very excited about it. Actually, let's put you back in here. I don't want you to get damaged. Oh my god, it's so solid. Look at this. A kickstand. Wow, look at that mechanism on the kickstand. That's so cool. Oh, that's all solid metal too. This is much better built than I thought it would be. All right, so, so you know, two more items left. So this one I got the other day, it's a Stream Deck. 
and I got it so I could uh, have icons on here and they're gonna do different shortcuts for different things I want to be done on the infotainment system like um, to bring up the all apps menu or to switch to alt tab between um, open apps and things of that nature so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to approach this but um, videos I had earlier where I was just working in react trying to figure out how to minimize windows probably gonna scrap them and think about a way to do it with this so I can just Quick, 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 and get it done. And then this should be my volume knob. Wow. Ooh. Okay. It's an infinite scrolling, so it doesn't have min and max, right? But it's solid, well, probably aluminum. And it's got USB C. Oh my god. This is nice. And it comes with a USB C mail, you know, USB A mail to mail. Cable. Wow, okay. That is, this is, that was, that was really nice. I didn't expect it to be that nice. This right here, this should be my base amount. So there's some kind of plan in here where I take the uh, tablet and mount it using the base amount. A lot of hardware. I did not expect that. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And then a couple extra stuff over here. So these are star handle tighteners. I'm thinking I can use these to tighten down the, uh, the movable um, armrests. I got some, uh, some ball bearings here, some, like skateboard, some uh, nuts here. I think these are like eight mil nuts. Well, they're M8 nuts. And I got some Loctite because I don't really plan on um, welding anything. I want to maybe glue everything together. And this is really strong. And then last but not least, the holder for the tablet. Let's see if I can open this up. heavy so I guess the, the vase amount goes up top here and it kind of hangs over how does this work and is it above or behind so you lock it into place this screws here so the idea is right in here gets mounted on the base amount and uh, hopefully it's rigid enough to handle breaking and accelerating 